Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. of Knowledge and today we're going to learn a Python tutorial on strings. So um, if you haven't watched the palindrome episode, it was most about strings. Um, you can just go back to my channel and watch that or either I'll just put the link in the description box. So first here we're going to write the hashtag or the comment. Um, the importance is this just doesn't show on our screen. Here we're going to write concatenation of two strings, which means I'm adding two strings. Okay, so string one, um, I'm just writing str, you can write anything. So string one is equal to, um, let's give it as hello world. Oh, by the way, don't forget the quotation marks. Hello. You can give anything. Um, I think it's important if you give names or something. But um, it's just for an example. So I'm gonna use Hello World. My first string is Hello, and my second string is World. And I'm gonna put a space over there. Um like right after the words so that just going to give some neatness and now another comment which is using plus so here we're going to use plus and show you how it is done how concatenation of two strings is done so you have to write print and then um, you can give the creation marks and write string one plus string two is equal to and space um, this is not really important, but for an example, I think it is good. Okay, and put a comma after the quotation mark and write the same process, string one plus string two without quotation marks. Okay, um, okay, so that's it. That's it, we're going to save the project. Um, like give it a name like string or anything you can give anything and then after that you can save the project and run it you'll find it out okay please don't forget to save the project it's really important I'm just gonna change this one to the double quotations because I think that's a bit more neat than the single quotations. But it's okay if you put one or the other on. Okay, so um, it came guys. It's string one plus string two and it's equal to hello world. Okay, so the next process is using um, the multiplication symbol or the asterisk. Okay, um, so this one is like you multiply one string into these many times. For example, if it is three, then that word comes like three times. So here I'm gonna give string one multiplied by three, and then you give the process um, after the comma. It's the same thing. Um, you just do it as the first one, but um, this one is just like multiplication, so that's the thing. That's the only difference between it. Multiply by three. Okay. Um, so our string one is hello, and it's gonna come three times. Yeah, it did come. Oh, don't forget the equal mark. I forgot about that. Okay, let's run it again. Yeah, it came. Woohoo! It's um, string one multiplied by three is equal to hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and if you use more, it will become more. Okay, now let's give a complete example without using the string one and string two is equal to inside the quotation marks. Okay, so first I'm gonna write name. Or just write in or anything I'm just gonna write an a1 I'm gonna give my name 
so type input and write enter your name okay so here um this thing is asking um which means you're asking the user to type their first name so the first name and second name it's like your first name and second name um uh, so yeah the next thing is you do the same thing but this time write na2 and after that um you write enter your second name so we'll wait till that process comes na2 is equal to input and put the brackets double quotation marks or just a single one doesn't matter it could be either both and then second name enter your second name oh and i'm putting a space between the columns it's just to give a neatness okay so this time you just give the print um n a one plus n a two above we just gave string one and string plus string two but here we're just gonna give na1 plus na2 it's not important to give the quotation marks because we don't want them to know how we did this okay na2 now run the program so enter your first name um here i'm gonna write um my first name So I'll just write my first name, and that is Fatima Shahama, and that's what I'm gonna write um, in my second name, Shahama. And let's see how it comes. Um, like, yeah, you can try with your name. It's simple. So here it joins, and it came Fatima Shahama. Wow, guys, it really worked. I mean, if you if you give any application to something, they ask you your names, like first name and second name later they show you the two names together so this is the process this is how they make it this is the process using python of course so i hope this video was useful and thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel bye